Hello everyone. Today we're going to make a layer cake sweetened with maple syrup. I can't have sugar, so we decided to try maple syrup. To make our cake, we're going to use one stick of unsalted butter at room temperature, two and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, two cups of maple syrup, three large eggs, one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of ground ginger, one cup of milk, and one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. So let's get started. First step to make our cake is to take our flour and our baking powder and our ginger we're going to sift these together and then we're going to set this aside. Next step in making the cake is going to be to preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then to prepare the two baking dishes for the batter when it's done. There are a lot of ways to do this. You can flour or butter and flour the pans. You could spray them with baking spray. This is the way I did it when I was growing up. Take wax paper, long enough to make two pieces, fold it in half, take your pan, set it on top, take a pair of scissors, and mark out the pan size on the wax paper, like so and then cut out the two circles. I'm going to cut it out just a little smaller than the, the line you made so that it'll sit flat in the bottom of the pan. When you get them cut out, just put one in the bottom of each pan. Then it's ready for the batter. Alright, next step in making the batter is going to be to Take your butter, put it in your mixer bowl, and beat until creamy. Once your butter is mixed up a little bit, we're going to add the maple syrup. And we're going to beat these till they get creamed together. Okay, once we have our maple syrup and our butter mixed together, creamed together. I'm going to add the eggs in. Okay, we got our eggs in. Got them mixed up in there. Now we're going to add our flour that we sifted earlier. Once you have your flour all incorporated in, we're going to add our vanilla and the milk. Okay, after our batter is all mixed up, you just want to divide it evenly into your two cake pans. Once you have your batter divided evenly into your two pans, we're going to put this in the oven. It's going to cook for about 40 minutes. I'm going to turn it once, or rotate the pans once at least during the baking time, about halfway through, to ensure that they bake evenly. Uh, you want to bake them till they're a little browned on top, and when you stick a toothpick in the center, it comes out clean. Okay, to go along with our maple layer cake, we're make, going to make a chocolate fudge frosting. To make the chocolate fudge frosting, you're going to use four ripe avocados, one cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, two-thirds of a cup of honey, and four tablespoons of cacao butter. 
So let's get started. To make the frosting, all you need is a food processor. You want to add your avocados that have been pitted and scooped out. Your melted cacao butter, which you can do in a microwave. Honey. And your unsweetened cocoa powder. Cover it up and blend until smooth. And at midway, scrape down the sides. Make sure everything is incorporated. Cover it up and blend it again. Give it a quick check. It looks perfect. As you can see, none of the green from the avocado is in there. It's all black, just like chocolate frosting. And it's absolutely sodium free. And this is what it should look like. Okay, once our cake is done and it's allowed, been allowed to cool on a wire rack for 15 or 20 minutes, you want to take them out of your cake pans. Just take a knife and go around the edge of your cake pan with a knife and then turn it over on your other hand once you have it out of the pan take the wax paper off the bottom you want to take the first layer and turn it up right side up onto your plate now you want to let this cool until it's cool enough so the icing won't melt when it goes on top. You want to take your other layer out and just set it back on the wire rack and allow it to finish cooling as well. Final step is to ice the cake with our avocado chocolate frosting. Using a spatula, spread some on top of the first layer of the cake, just like so you want to work your way all the way around and if a spatula doesn't work for you you can always use a butter knife and spread it around like this once you layer the frosting evenly on the first layer of the cake you want to take your second layer of the cake using your hands carefully get underneath center it and lay it on top, just like so. And repeat the process. This time including not only the top, but on the sides as well. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please subscribe. And feel free to leave a comment below. Bye. Bye.